Which of the following would be the best conductor? Iodine, silver, or sulfur? You can see from the periodic table that silver is a metal and the other elements are non-metals, so it would be the best conductor. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Metals, Non-Metals, Metalloids, and the Periodic Table. If you look at the periodic table, you'll see that the metals are located to the left of the zigzag staircase. The exception is hydrogen. I'll get to that in a moment. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. All but mercury are solid at room temperature. The alkali metals are group one and they're the most reactive of all metals. They don't occur in nature in their element form but are always found in a compound. The alkaline earth metals, group two, are shiny, ductile, and malleable, and they combine with other elements. The transition metals, groups three through 12, are most familiar metals because they often occur in nature uncombined. The lanthanide series, Elements 51 through 71 are found at the bottom of the periodic table, and the actinine series are elements 89 through 103. If you were to summarize the properties of the metals, shiny, conductors, malleable, and ductile, nonmetals are the opposite. They're dull, insulators, and brittle. Nonmetals are elements that are usually gases or brittle solids at room temperature. Most can form ionic and covalent compounds, and they're located to the right of the zigzag staircase. The halogens, which are group 17, are the most reactive of the nonmetals. These elements combine with group 1 to form salts. The noble gases, group 18, exist as isolated atoms. They are all stable because their outer energy level is full. Hydrogen, which is the only nonmetal located to the left of the zigzag staircase, is located at the top of group 1 because of reactivity and it only has one valence electron. The metalloids are part of the mixed groups, groups 3 through 17, and they can be metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. One side of the metalloids actually touch the zigzag staircase. Be careful with aluminum though. They have qualities of metals and nonmetals. They're also known as semiconductors. They're widely used in technology. For example, silicon is used in computer chips and germanium is used in lights and solar panels. If you'd like to know more about the periodic table, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moon Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.